Hello everybody, Rel here, and this week we're going back to nature with Swing Swing Submarine's Puzzle Platformer Seasons After Fall. After years of the puzzle platformer genre flooding the indie scene, does Seasons After Fall stand out from the pack, and should you buy it? First released in 2016, Seasons After Fall has you taking the role of a soul-stealing forest wisp that possesses the body of a red fox. You're tasked with rescuing the spirits of the Four Seasons by a disembodied female voice in order to begin a ritual that will possibly save the forest. To do that, you've got to gather the powers of the Four Seasons and literally cause climate change. Seasons After Fall's main gameplay gimmick is basically Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, but in a gorgeous 2D puzzle platformer. You quickly unlock the ability to change the seasons at will, allowing you to alter your environment as needed. Winter freezes lakes and geysers, while fall makes mushroom platforms appear, and so on. Seasons After Fall is what you might consider an atmospheric game. Between the artwork and the music, it's designed to be a relaxing experience. There are no enemies and you can't die, so the challenge comes from figuring out how to overcome obstacles. The mechanics never become overly complicated, and you'll encounter a variety of puzzles as you explore the forest and discover more about the ritual and what's behind it. However, Seasons After Fall suffers from a few marked flaws. The game gives you hints on occasion, but just as often you're left in the dark as to where to go or what to do. While the game world isn't too large, the lack of an in-game map is a noticeable absence when you first start out. More importantly, the game has a bit too much backtracking. While not done to an excessive degree, the game resorts to it exactly one time too many. In short, it's very obvious when the developers decided to pad the playtime a little bit. That said, Seasons After Fall is an enjoyable game, and one that had a lot more care and love put into it than plenty of others in the genre. It's currently available on Steam, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One for $15 American. You can expect to get 5-6 to six hours of gameplay out of it, which is respectable for the price, but if you're not itching for a puzzle platformer, waiting for a sale is recommended. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, subscribe and click that notification bell to see more in the future. Leave me a comment with your thoughts below, and I will see you next time.